Welcome to EcoSub Robotics. EcoSub AUVs operate without a tether or connection to a vessel or operator. They typically operate independently following a defined mission. We started development of EcoSub AUVs in 2015. A joint engineering team from Planet Ocean and the National Oceanography Centre worked together on the micro AUV concept, now known as our EcoSub U5 AUV. R&D soon started on a, the larger M-series AUV platform. Following several years of knowledge transfer, Planet Ocean took over all development of the EcoSub AUV platforms, although we still maintain a close relationship with the NOC and continue to work on various projects with the team. We have a range of AUV platforms that include the Micro, Milli and Milli Power Plus, covering depths of between 500 metres and 2,500 metres. EcoSub AUVs are suitable for a range of science and survey applications. EcoSub was conceived to be a disruptive technology intended to democratise the AUV, dramatically increasing accessibility to AUV technology by providing affordable and easy to use systems. Our history spans back to 2015 when our first Innovate UK funded project provided the means to develop the U5. Since then, we have continuously developed the platforms through independent R&D and participation in a range of projects. We have supplied AUV systems to users in the UK, US, Canada, Japan, South Africa, Germany and Norway, with many of our users benefiting from multi-vehicle systems. For an overview, we have our three core systems. The EcoSub U5 is exceptionally small, at only 4 kilograms. It is very easy to launch and recover and designed as a single payload system. It is ideal for hosting a CT sensor to collect oceanographic data. Options for aided navigation are limited. Its small size and low power system use, limits the use of DVL and INS, so it relies largely on its own dead reckoner. Mm. Our EcoSub M5 and EcoSub M25 AUVs are small, weighing only 12 kilograms, and are designed to carry multiple payloads, typically for science applications. This platform is able to host DVL for aided navigation. However, when precise localization and navigation is critical for geo-referencing data, our EcoSub Power Plus uh, AUV allows users to benefit from DVL, USBL, and INS on board. The Power Plus vehicle has more dry space for internal electronics and more power available while still weighing only about 17 kilograms. The Power Plus is well suited to survey applications with options for side scan sonar and multi-beam echo sounder. With over nine years of constant development, there are, design, there are many design features that make EcoSub AUV special. Notably, they are low logistics systems, easy to carry, one person portable, and require only a laptop and our Hermes box to operate. Battery carriages can be hot swapped quickly and they typically use rechargeable nickel metal hydride cells which are safe to transport without any restrictions. All EcoSub AUVs have a front seat back seat architecture providing an, an, providing an environment for users to integrate their own algorithms, control systems or payloads if they wish. With an easy to use interface, uh, the Rust API allows users to take over navigation control and drive the system from the back seat, an ideal tool for researchers. All EcoSub AUVs have access to Wi-Fi for high bandwidth, short range comms and Iridium satellite comms for full global coverage. When on the surface, users will receive an Iridium message every five minutes with position and vehicle health information, ensuring easy recovery and the ability to remotely send missions or ask the vehicle to come home. When configured with an acoustic modem, vehicles can send status messages every 20 seconds to enable real-time tracking and two-way comms underwater. Our users benefit from easy-to-use Windows-based software with point-and-click mission planning. Mechanically, we offer a very flexible system. Nose cones are custom-designed to accommodate the payload configuration you would like on board. The systems are also very robust 
and other than bulkhead connectors we do not have any penetrations into the main pressure vessel. This helps us to achieve such impressive depth ratings and provide systems that can handle real world operations. Our EcoSub U5 is a true micro AUV. It weighs only 4 kilograms and yet is still rated to 500 meters depth. Due to its small size, it does not have a lot of payload capacity. It is designed to carry small, low power sensors like CT or fluorometers. So it's very useful for collecting oceanographic data, particularly as it has the ability to transit almost vertically through the water column. Useful for finding thermoclines or other physical oceanographic features. It does have limited navigation, so generally used in applications where accurate georeferencing of data is not that important. In addition to a CT or sound velocity sensor, we can also integrate an altimeter or nano modem. We class the EcoSub M series as a small AUV. It's about one meter long and weighs 12 kilograms, so still very portable. The additional size enables us to deploy multiple sensors on this platform. It is well suited to carrying a sensor suite for science, able to measure conductivity, temperature, chlorophyll, CDOM, backscatter, dissolved oxygen, PAR, and also carry an altimeter and nano modem. This vehicle provides a comprehensive and affordable tool for measuring environmental parameters. It is also possible to deploy this vehicle with side scan sonar and DVL to provide a low cost platform for survey applications. With a wide range of payload choices available, users can define their own configuration but here we have some typical setups ranging from a simple CT and fluorometer configuration to comprehensive setups for either, bio, for either biogeochemical applications or hydrocarbon detection and measurement. Our Power Plus vehicle was designed to bridge the gap between the capabilities of the M series and user expectations for high end AUV navigation and payload setup. It provides more power and more space for payloads. Whilst the AUV platform is still very affordable, these vehicles are typically loaded with high quality payload to collect excellent data with navigation and performance equivalent to much larger and more expensive systems. On board a Scout Class Power Plus vehicle, we can run side scan sonar or multi beam along with our 4K EcoCam video and still camera that encodes directly onto an NVIDIA Jetson Aura Nano backseat computer. This can be used to collect really high quality video and also be used for any machine vision applications. The Power Plus can run with INS and DVL and when deployed with Sonodyne's AvTrack modem can benefit from USB-L aided navigation. In science mode, we can further expand the sensor suite available to the M series vehicles to include a pH sensor. Again, as with all EcoSub AUVs, there are lots of ways to configure your PowerPlus system. As a company that provides affordable AUVs, we don't look for the cheapest payloads. In fact, our commitment is to provide an affordable platform to run the highest quality sensors to collect the best data in the most affordable way possible. This set of images shows just some of the variation between our vehicle payload setups. We custom design and 3D print nose cones to meet user requirements. This offers lots of flexibility and scope for customization. We provide the Hermes C3 comms box to provide a simple multifunction tool to enable users to connect to their vehicles. Hermes provides a Wi-Fi network for all vehicles to connect to. When users connect to their Hermes network, they can connect directly to each vehicle to get live data from the system and have control. Hermes has multiple communication channels. In addition to Wi-Fi for high bandwidth comms, Hermes also has an Iridium modem, 4G internet, RS-232 or Ethernet connection, and also the option for an acoustic modem. One of the key features of Hermes is its ability to enable two-way Iridium comms, even in internet-denied environments providing the ability to talk to your vehicle anywhere, regardless of internet access, which is ideal for offshore use. Hermes has GPS, so when planning missions at sea, you know where you are relative to the mission and the vehicle. 
and Hermes can also be used as an LBL node to aid localization of the vehicle underwater. Using Hermes with its acoustic modem enables two-way in-mission comms, allowing the user to receive status messages from the vehicle to provide mission tracking and also the option to abort missions or send other commands. Hermes can be integrated into other platforms like USVs or fixed locations like buoys to enable network systems to operate together. Hive is our next generation user vehicle gateway system. It includes an integrated Hermes system to provide the comms tools, but has the addition of single board computers to run the Sonodyne Micro Ranger 2 USBL system. This integration enables messages to be handled between the Micro Ranger 2 software and Hermes, enabling visualization of the vehicle tracking through the Sonodyne software, but also position tracking and commands directly through the EcoSub GUI. Hive's comms manager is able to manage scalable CSMA underwater network protocol that uh, the EcoSub vehicles can all operate with. Hive is also the host for the work we have been doing on autonomy engines and AI-driven multi-vehicle mission planning. Whilst not available yet, there will be some really exciting developments in this area. Our EcoSub C3 GUI is a Windows-based software that is easy to use, providing all the services operators need to communicate with the vehicle, create and send missions, recover vehicles and download and review data. To plan a mission, users can select from a range of maps, including Navionics marine charts, select a start point for the mission, select a vehicle behavior, for example, go to lat long at a defined depth or altitude. The user then clicks on the map where they want the vehicle to go. The parameters uh, of each behavior can be set. The depth or altitude can be defined. Waypoint acceptance radius can be controlled as can vehicle speed and also the timeout for, for, the, for the mission behavior can be amended. Smart behaviors like the automatic lawnmower pattern make planning missions a quick and simple task while maintaining substantial control over what the vehicle will do and how it does it. When completed and saved, the mission can be sent to the vehicle ready to execute. The GUI also allows users to receive and plot Iridium messages on a map screen and creates a recovery mode when it is time to find your vehicle. This mode will give a distance and bearing to the vehicle's coordinates to aid recovery. Although an EcoSub operating on its own is a really useful tool, when you have something affordable that's relatively small, easy to handle and can operate in networks with underwater comms, it makes sense to think about what you can do with more than one AUV. Having multiple vehicles gives you the advantage of being able to collect more data, cover wider areas and be in more than one place at the same time. We are really enthusiastic about multi-vehicle operations and see this as one of the major benefits of operating EcoSubs. We have been working to develop underwater network capability and also to develop the squad model where squads of vehicles, in some cases using vehicles with different roles, can operate together to deliver mission objectives. EcoSub AUVs all operate with a front seat, back seat architecture. The back seat is an area where users can develop their own algorithms or control a command and control systems, easily interfacing with our front seat control system. This allows backseat control of navigation and the ability to read sensor data and make decisions with information flowing through an underwater acoustic network. The opportunities for developing really cool solutions to challenges and optimising what we can get out of autonomous systems are endless. Launch and recovery of EcoSub AUVs is easy. They are relatively low logistic systems and don't require cranes, A-frames or large systems. In most cases, we just throw them into the water for launch and use a boat hook to recover. We have done this from ribs, small vessels and large research vessels. EcoSub AUVs have also been launched and in some cases recovered by other uncrewed systems. We have had vehicles deployed from UAVs, USVs and XL AUVs. Our EcoSub U5 maintains a cylinder rule which makes it an ideal tube launch system as seen uh, being deployed from the L3 Harris Seaworker USV in this video. You can also see 
how easy it is to launch a system from hand from the aft of this small vessel. EcoSub AUVs have applications in a wide range of fields. Our key sectors are science, defence and offshore energy, but there are many other areas like marine archaeology and aquaculture where EcoSubs can add a lot of value. The list of applications on screen covers some of the areas that EcoSub can be applied for, mostly centred around measuring environmental parameters and providing imaging solutions for survey applications. And that brings our brief overview of EcoSub AUV technology to a conclusion. Thanks for taking the time to find out more about EcoSub Robotics and please visit our website at ecosub.uk for more information or to get in touch. Thank you.